All right, guys, now don't get me wrong. Most engineering degrees are really good. Now, I did a few videos where I ranked engineering degrees and there was a healthy discussion in the comments section. A lot of people made good points. Like I said, most of them are good, but I've been noticing this disturbing trend lately where colleges are slapping the word engineering onto crap majors in order to make them look OP. Now, in this video, I'm gonna go over some of those, so brace yourself. Now on this channel, usually I talk about college degrees, personal finance, investing, saving, and all those other buzzwords that I'm saying at the beginning of the video in order to make the YouTube algorithm categorize my video correctly. But with this series of videos, I decided to go over some of the worst degrees in every single category, all the way from art to business to technology, and yes, even engineering degrees. And I think you're gonna be surprised how bad some of these are. I know engineering degrees, generally speaking, are really good, but you're gonna be surprised. All right, all right, so number one, we're gonna go back in time. You remember my engineering degree tier list where I ranked all the engineering degrees? I thought I had found the worst ones, but it turns out I was way off. There are much worse ones out there. Now we're gonna start off with number seven on this list, which is biomedical engineering. Now it says a lot about engineering degrees as a whole, considering this one is ranked 61st out of 835 possible degrees. And by the way, this data is on pay scale. Now don't get me wrong, this is still a really good one, but compared to other engineering degrees, it lags behind. And this is one of the more popular ones as well. And in my opinion, it's overrated, so let me explain before you leave an angry comment. Throw me a freaking bone here. Now, one of the big reasons I put this on the list is because a lot of the industries and careers that hire biomedical engineers for different jobs can hire mechanical engineers for the same ones. Now, they make around $88,000 a year starting off. Number of jobs out there is going to be 19,800, and it's growing at 4%, which is pretty average. Now this is good, but it's not amazing compared to a lot of the other engineering degrees. Now I think the reason that they rank so high is because engineering degrees are pretty much universally respected. So even if you don't end up working as a biomedical engineer or a mechanical engineer, there's a lot of different jobs out there that would be more than happy to hire you. They're getting someone who's very smart, very hardworking, and they know how to teach themselves because engineering professors don't. Now, if you're going to put yourself through engineering, which is one of the hardest majors out there, you want to make sure that you're going to get a good return on your investment, not only time, money, but also emotional investment, because you're basically playing the game of college on hard mode. And you want to make sure that you put all of your EXP points into the right skill trees since you grinded for so many hours in order to gain them. Number six on the list is going to be environmental engineering, and this one is going to come in at around 152 out of 835 possible degrees. Again, this this one's not that bad compared to a lot of other degrees out there. And I know, I'm awful, I'm disgusting, I'm despicable for including this one on the list. Shane, you don't care about the climate, you monster. Okay, on these lists, I have to be fair, I gotta go with the numbers and the statistics. Okay, history is my favorite subject, but guess what? I didn't major in history because I knew that I wouldn't be able to get a job. Or if I did get a job, it wouldn't be that great. And compared to other engineering degrees, this one isn't either. Now actually, it has very similar stats to the last one, $88,000 a year, 55,000 jobs available, and it's growing at about 5%. And these ones are both kind of similar as well because the subjects that they go over are a little bit too niche. A lot of the other engineering degrees, like mechanical for instance, is flexible enough that pretty much doesn't matter which industry you go into, you can get a job. But this one is a little bit too narrow of a skill set to be useful for a lot of different types of careers. In other words, this one is small peepee. -pee. Number five on the list, and this is where it starts to get into the territory of not being a good degree at all, welding engineering technology. This one comes in ranking 280. Six. Now, one thing I like to talk about a lot, which is something these schools do, is they throw together a bunch of different buzzwords that sound good in theory, but in reality, there's just not that many jobs out there. So the buzzword counter here is at three. Welding, that's a great trade, obviously. You know, great trade to get into. Engineering, everybody knows engineering degrees are good. And then technology, everyone knows technology is the future. That's three buzzwords in one degree. Woo! Whoever came up with that one, they gotta get a raise. Well, realistically, this is one of the worst engineering degrees. It's not as good as a ton of the other ones out there. Engineering degrees make up about half of the top 100 degrees on pay scale. And so when you see a degree that's past 250, that's really not a good sign. Another thing you wanna keep in mind is, I don't know how to say this delicately, if you're able to get a degree as an engineer, you're probably a very highly intelligent person and you likely would have been successful no matter what degree that you got in college. Now, nobody can determine correlation or causation when it comes to college 
degrees. Everybody knows that people who get college degrees make more than those who don't, but nobody knows whether that's correlation or causation. You could say the same thing with engineering degrees, and in my opinion, it's probably more causation in terms of the person's intelligence. Engineering degrees are very difficult, so if you're someone who's able to push through, work super hard, put themselves through those classes, and then also be smart enough in order to understand a lot of that advanced stuff at a young age, you're probably gonna be successful anyways. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at a lot of these different degrees. It is my opinion, but at the same time, I think it's right. Number four on this list is going to be architectural engineering technology. So the buzzword counter is at three with this one. Architecture, awesome. Everybody loves architecture, right? Engineering, number two, and then technology. This one ranks 365 out of 835 total degrees, and that is starting to get pretty close to the middle, and that is not good. It's another one that's a little bit too niche to be good unless you're going into a very specific career and you're 100% certain then that's the direction that you want to go. And it's similar to the next one on the list, which is also really good if you want to build yourself a solid ground floor for your career. Okay, that, that was a terrible pun. I'll, um, I'll see myself out the door now. Number three on the list is going to be construction engineering technology. It's so funny that like half of these bad engineering degrees have all these buzzwords in them. I don't know if they did this on purpose or whether it was an accident. I, I can't say for sure how it happened, but it's just really funny to me. I mean, it sounds like it's really good, right? Construction engineering technology, extremely practical, right? This one ranks 377 out of 835 possible degrees. And honestly, that's still not that bad. And we're now in the top three engineering degrees. Degrees. So you might be thinking right now, Shane, leave engineering alone. Why are you even making this video? Well, compared to a ton of other engineering related degrees, this one is actually pretty bad. And there's even art degrees that rank higher than this. Just look at industrial design, which ranks 240 out of 835. And funny enough, industrial design is very similar to the next one on the list, which is going to be product design engineering. The only problem is product design engineering ranks 382. Now, if you compare product design engineering to industrial design, which is an art degree, you'll see that you start off with a higher salary, $60,000 a year during the first five years versus $50,000 a year for the first five years of industrial design. However, mid-career pay, you're gonna have a lot more upward mobility with industrial design. It's gonna be $91,000 a year versus $81,000 a year after 10 years. Now this one is number two on the list and it's still not at the halfway point of 835, which would be like 417 or whatever. And honestly, that's just how good engineering degrees are. They're all pretty dang good. Now one thing you should do is pay special attention to people who look like they've beaten the game a few times. And by that, I mean contact people who are in the careers that you're looking to go into. See if they've already gotten the degrees. Did they have to get that very specific degree or did they just get like a mechanical engineering degree and then end up going into that industry? and then ask them for advice on what you should do. Because if you did that, they'd probably tell you to not go into this next one on the list. This next one is actually really, really bad. And that's not just for engineering degrees. It's just objectively bad. Number one on the list is going to be audio engineering. And it comes in at 615 out of 835. Now, audio engineers are going to start off making around $45,000 a year. And then mid-career pay is going to be 69000 Keep in mind, this is survey data. And so people who don't get jobs end up not reporting it. So it's probably going to be a little bit lower than that in reality. Now, a lot of people want to break into the music industry. It's extremely competitive and they probably think that getting an audio engineering degree is going to help them. I mean, what would be cooler than just like making music all the time and just jamming out for a living? But it's actually a little bit of a trap. All right, so this video was really short and there's a reason for that. <laughs> I couldn't even find 10 engineering degrees that are that bad. I did manage to find a few of them and I hope you kind of see the commonalities here that make them what they are, which is either mediocre or outright bad. And there's a few points that I want to include here that are specific to engineering degrees. So number one on the list is engineering degrees are great overall and it's pretty tough to go wrong. If you're able to make it through the tough engineering curriculum, which is really hard, I mean, a lot of people end up dropping out. It's also extremely stressful. You know, I lived in a scholarship hall with like 50 guys and I remember seeing the engineers during finals week and they just like look like raccoons. They got like black, you know, rings around their eyes. Smart guys, really cool guys, but you know, they're 
it's just tough. It's just a really tough degree to get. And that's just objectively speaking, it's hard. But if you're able to do it, if you wanna put yourself through those four years, pretty much all of the engineering degrees, I'd say, I don't know, 80% of them are gonna be good. Number two thing here is that engineering degrees are universally respected. Now I was watching this thing with Mr. Wonderful, Kevin from the show Shark Tank. You guys have probably heard about him. And he was talking about how, you know, he put his son through college. And I think he basically told his son that it's an engineering degree or I'm not paying for your college. Kevin's a really smart guy and he knows that a lot of college degrees are scam. He also knows that his son's really young and he's impressionable and he might make a bad decision. And the thing about engineering degrees, and I've talked about this a lot before, is how they're universally respected. And they're also relatively flexible. So even if you don't end up becoming a mechanical engineer with a mechanical engineering degree, you could end up going into business or technology. There's tons of mechanical engineers that end up coding, for instance. I also did the video on the degrees that create the most millionaires and not surprisingly, engineer came out to be number one. And that leads me to point number three, which is engineering degrees are extremely flexible. Now, obviously, you know, with a mechanical engineering degree, you can work as a mechanical engineer you can work in a bunch of other different engineering specialties. Maybe you decide you don't like engineering anymore. A lot of companies would be more than happy to hire engineers for business positions. And the reason for this is because they kind of know what they're getting when they hire an engineer. Not just anybody can get an engineering degree. It's really difficult. You have to be really smart and you have to be a self-starter. So I guess point number four is for you to keep an open mind about what you want to become in the future. Generally speaking, I always say go to places where there's a lot of opportunity. That might be a state or a city sometimes it might be a company you know maybe a fortune 50 company or an up-and-coming smaller one or sometimes it might be an industry you want to go work in an industry that's booming right now that has a ton of opportunity put yourself where the opportunity is and then keep an open mind all right smash the like button hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell comment down below any thoughts comments criticisms etc that you have on the video share the video and of course don't forget to watch these videos right here I made them just for you 